cannot transmit or receive messages. You are out of emergency broadcast range. Ah, no dice. I wonder if one of the points of light up there is Earth. Of course, even if I knew which one it was, it's not like I could ever go there. Hope Mom and Dad are doing all right. Seems like all I've done is given them reasons to worry about me. Claude?
Oh, what am I going to do? I don't think anybody's noticed yet. This is just terrible. If I gain any more weight, I won't have any clothes left to wear. Ah! Oh, hello there, Reyna. What are you doing here? I, uh, you know, just wandering around. <laughs> wandering around, are you? Pretty much. Um, by the way, Reyna, were you listening to me just now? Well, um... W what are you talking about? I see. Well, never mind then.
must be Linga. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it! Ah! Look out! What is that thing? Uh... Ah! Just stop for a second! Goodness, what was that? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? Hey! What's wrong? Again! My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there! Are you okay? You aren't hurt or anything, are you? Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. This is like... Totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my Robbie went? Your... Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that remote control toy? I think it went that way. Uh, dang! I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. The girl's like a tornado. I don't know. I thought she was kind of cute. Oh, really? That's what you like in a girl, huh, Ashton? Well, I, uh, I didn't mean anything like that, Reyna. Is this the house where that quirky girl I heard about lives? Yo, what's up, miss? You need something? Oh, well, I just couldn't help but notice some of the tools you're making. Oh, really? Well, that's unusual. Normally, people either treat me like I'm messed up in the head or they just don't bother talking to me at all. You're not like that at all. I think it's really impressive. Whenever someone isn't satisfied with things as they are and tries to make something new, that's really something to be admired. Yeah. The problem is most people are afraid of exploring the unknown the way I do. Anything that's beyond their plane of knowledge, they try to pretend that it doesn't exist at all. Unless it physically comes up and kicks them in the rear, they don't even try to give it a moment's thought. Oh, sort of like what happened to me when I saw Claude's Sword of Light, I suppose. Anyway, the point being, you are pretty different from the rest, little lady. I was about to take a break and make some tea. You, uh, interested in a cup or two? Uh, I... Well, I'm not forcing you, of course. Well, 
All right, I'd love to. Come on in, then. As you've probably noticed, everyone in town treats us like a couple of kooks. Not that I've ever let that bother me, of course. But I have to admit, I'm worried about how it's affecting my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, Priestess. <laughs> like father, like daughter, you know? Just like me, she spends all the free time she gets building weird stuff. She doesn't really have any friends, so... She's always tinkering away by herself. So, there's a bit of a favor I'd like to ask. Would you mind being friends with my daughter? Me? You're the only girl I've seen who hasn't made up her mind about Priestess before meeting her. Please. I think it'll really help her out. This way, this way. Thank you. Oh, Reyna? What are you doing here, Claude? Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. What are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at least try to be a little more discreet about it. Um... Wow, so this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Yes, it did. Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. Yeah, shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Huh? Oh, well, uh, I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> it's not something you can get just anywhere, is it? Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Claude? Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. <laughs> you have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? 
You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Wait, I... It's not... I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? I... I just... Oh, the sorcery globe! We've got the sorcery globe to think about. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the Sorcery Globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to preoccupy ourselves with you. Oh, hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go check out the Sorcery Globe? Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? That's not what we're saying, no. What's the problem, then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky, too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. Really, Reyna? Fine, might as well, I guess. Woohoo! I got a few things I need to take care of, okay? I'll join you guys when you're ready to leave town. Go ahead, I'll catch up. what to bring. It's my first real adventure and all. Are you ready now? Yep, ready as I'll ever be. Did you say goodbye to your father? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of embarrassing though. Hey, I've seen this girl before. Are you sure about this, Reyna? I hope you don't regret it later. Oh yeah, I still need to introduce myself. My name is Priestess. I'm gonna be joining you guys starting today. So, nice to meet you all. We ready to go then?
Oh, Priestess, what are you doing over here? Oh, I'm so bored. Can't we just tell everyone to finish up and get going already? Come on, this isn't so bad. It's nice and calm, isn't it? But there's nothing to do here. It's boring. Hey, how about we play around of hide and seek? What? No thanks. Come on, don't be such a stick in the mud. Why not? All right, let's play it next time we're here. Really? I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, okay. I'm sure she'll forget all about it tomorrow. been to liqueur before but it's amazing ha you sound like some kind of country hick out on vacation well excuse me for being excited claude do you have a problem with that no no problem i never get tired of coming to liqueur to me, it's the best place in the world. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Hey, let's go see the castle. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's fine and all, but can't you guys save that for later? We've got business to take care of. What? Huh? Nothing.
Welcome to Lacour Castle. Could we have an audience with the king, please? Unfortunately, his majesty will be unavailable for the duration of the armory contest. We need to see him as soon as possible. Is there anything we can do? Hmm. Well, it's not impossible, I suppose. If one of you won the contest, you'd get to receive a congratulatory message from the king. Otherwise, I'm afraid you will have to wait several days. Welcome. You can sign up for the contest here. Are you sure about this, Claude? Of course I'm sure. I'm entering the Liqueur Armory contest. But, I mean, everyone else is gonna be really strong, I bet. You might get seriously hurt. Are you saying that I'm too weak to stand a chance? You know that's not what I meant. I've never had anyone give me an impartial view of my strength. Heck, I've never had anyone so much as recognize me for my talents instead of my name. That's why I think this is a great chance for me. A chance to test myself. Claude. Besides, there's someone in this tournament I've just got to meet. Do you mean Diaz? Uh... Claude C. Kenny, is that correct? All right, I've taken care of your application. Make sure you find a sponsoring weapon shop and register with them by the day before the tournament. I got it. You know, Claude, if you're gonna be in the tournament, I suppose that means we'll be in Lacour for at least a few days. Yeah, sorry to be such a pain in the neck. I really don't care either way. As long as you win, we'll get to meet the king and get our hands on tons of prizes and cash, right? If you can pull it off, then it won't be a waste of our time at all. Thanks. I guess I owe you guys a victory now, don't I? Yes, you do. But before that, don't you have to go find a weapon shop to sponsor you? Oh, right. Signing up at the castle wasn't enough, was it? There are weapon shops all over Lacour. It shouldn't be too hard to find one. Let's take a look around the city. I want to go visit them all before I make a decision.
Well, I guess this means I'm officially entered now. It's interesting, isn't it? For the combatants, this is a matter of life and death, but for everyone else, it's like a national festival. Well, it doesn't bother me at all. If you've got a chance to let loose, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. Claude. Everyone has a different goal in life, you know? There's no point trying to force them down one way or the other. Why don't you brighten up a little? Look at how crazy everything is in Lacour right now. You're right. Let's paint the town red until the tournament starts. Train your skills, play around, just do whatever you want. We can stay in Lacour until the end of the tournament, right? Yeah. Not only is the inn free for tournament contestants, but they'll even wake me up on battle day so I don't sleep through it. Great! Let's have some fun then! Welcome to the Lacour Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm one of the contestants in the tournament. Ah, yes. I see your Armory Contest badge. Could I have your name, please? Claude C. Kenny. Claude C. Kenny. Indeed, your name's on the list. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. However, I must warn you that participants are not allowed to leave the city until after the armory contest is over. Do you have anything left to take care of? Very good. I've assigned you to the gate suite. Please enjoy your stay. Now we just have to wait for the big day. I wonder what would happen if some talent agent scouts me in the contest and makes me into a big music star. I could have joined the contest too, if I didn't have these guys latched onto my back. <sighs> Whoa! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. It feels like time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. What are you so nervous about, Reyna? It's not like you're the one fighting. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Reyna? I... I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. completed his sword. Please, would you mind using it in the contest? Huh? What store does your granddad run? The one in that house over there. That's my grandfather's shop. Don't be stupid, kid. That's just a run-down old shack. No! It's my grandfather's shop! Really? Well, quit trying to pull one over on me, okay? I need to go find a real store to sponsor me before the contest starts. Hmm. 
What's the matter? Is something bothering you? Do you know anyone fighting in the contest, lady? The contest? My grandfather's forged a sword for the big contest, but nobody wants to use it. It's a really great sword, I swear. Well, I've got a friend who's going to be participating. We can try asking him. Really? Oh, I think he's already chosen a shop, though. That's not going to work, then. You can't switch shops once you've made your decision. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know. How about we go look for someone together? Look where? Well, if you want to meet a lot of fighters, the tavern's definitely the place to go. My grandfather didn't want me going in there. He said it was too uncivilized for me. Hmm. Well, I'll be accompanying you, so it won't be that bad, right? You think we'll find someone who'll take our sword, though? Of course we will! All right, let's go! You got it! See all the tough-looking guys in here? I'm sure some of them still haven't found a shop yet. Let's get a really strong-looking one. Nobody too scary, though. We better get someone who's nice and handsome. Okay. I probably shouldn't leave Sophia alone in here. Reina, is that you? Diaz! What are you doing here? Why so surprised? I told you I was entering the tournament. Did you mean what you said in the Forest of Symbols? Maybe I did. It wasn't that long ago, you know. You must be going senile early if you've forgotten about it already. What about you, Reyna? Did you get in another argument? This isn't any place for a girl to drink alone, you know. That's not why I'm here. I'm just looking for a tournament fighter willing to use this sword that Sophia's grandfather made. A sword? What the hell, kid? You got a death wish or something? Tell me one more time how I'm not that much of a swordsman. And I'll cut you in half, little girl. Well, stop picking on my grandfather's sword! Oh, what? You saying that doddering old coot's a master swordsmith? Come on, that sword couldn't even slice bread. How would you know before you try? Who the hell are you? The swords of liqueur are masterpieces. There's little room for argument about that. A fine liqueur sword is a weapon of world-class caliber, one that deserves all the reverence it gets. 
Glad someone's got a little taste around here. But this town's been riding on its reputation for too long, and the quality has suffered. Lacour's swords are getting duller by the year. What was that? I've been to every weapon shop in town, and not a single one has managed to catch my interest. Diaz, you haven't registered with the store yet? So what? All that proves to me is that you don't know nothing about what makes a good sword. We'll see about that at the tournament. No sword of yours will be enough to stand a chance against me. Ha! <laughs> Tell you what, how about you drop the lip for now and we'll settle this in the arena with an audience watching. I can hardly wait. Reyna, you're coming with me. Look, how stupid do you have to be to start a fight with a bunch of drunken goons at a tavern? Hey, I'm not stupid! Anyway, you said your grandfather's sword is the best. Does he have one ready? Oh, of course! Granddad Gamgee's swords are the best in the world! You'll win for sure with the one he made! Gamgee... What is it, Diaz? Reyna, from now on I don't want to be seen together with you anymore. Stop wandering around and go back to your friends right now. What's your problem all of a sudden? I don't want him to get upset at me like that again. What are you talking about? I'm going to go visit this little girl's grandfather. There's no reason for you to tag along. I guess not, but... Will he be in the tournament? Claude? Yes, he's in. Tell him this. Win, and keep on winning until the final round. Dias, wait! Always like this. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Are you all right, madam? You look pale. I'm fine. I just need to rest in my room for a bit. No one else found out about my encounter with Diaz, not even Claude. I looked around town a few more times hoping that I'd see him again, but I never did. Not until the day of the tournament. The day finally dawned on the Liqueur Armory Contest. The town was alive with excitement, every street and thoroughfare packed with feverish crowds of people. One after another, the tournament contestants filed into Lacour Castle. It wouldn't be long before Claude would be joining them. Well, I'm all set. I'll be heading off for Lacour Castle soon. Try not to worry too much about things, okay, Claude? I'll be fine. I feel a lot better today. In that case, nothing to worry about then. Don't worry. I really feel like I've got a chance to win today.
Excuse me, I'm participating in the tournament. Your name? Claude C. Kenny. Kenny, ah uh, yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. We'll be keeping them here for you. All right. Now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. You'll receive the rest of your usable items before the battle begins. So check with the arena agent for details. For now, you're all set. Please relax in the waiting room until the tournament begins. Thank you. Excuse me, has my weapon arrived yet? You're DS Flack, right? I'm sorry, we haven't received anything from your weapon shop. How much time do I have? Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? I don't need you to remind me. Reyna, what do you want? Is Gamji's weapon here yet? What's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him! Introduced him? What's all this about, Reyna? It's nothing. She was just in the right place at the right time. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. What? Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. I'm sorry. I need to go with Diaz for a moment. Reyna? Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? What are you waiting for? Go if he means that much to you. Claude, it's not like that. Well, you're the one picking out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? Claude, why are you saying this? Why do you think, Reyna? Not again. You really enjoy giving your friends a wrong idea, don't you? Well, what do you want me to do? It's too late to turn back now. Come on. We gotta find that old man before I run out of time. Where should we begin? We'll try his place first. Sophia! Reina and Diaz! What happened, Sophia? Tell me. My... my granddad! Diaz, you're scaring her. Calm down! Sophia, we came to help you and Gamji. Where is your grandfather? together and these men came and took my granddad's sword he didn't try to fight back did he they ran off and he started chasing after 
them, and I don't know what happened after that! Oh, damn, this guy comes with a lot of baggage. Sophia, do you have any idea where Gamji and those men could have gone? I don't know! If they're in the tournament, then they have to be in town. They weren't in the tournament area. If I had to guess, they're probably drinking to their good fortune right now. So that means... Quick! To the tavern, Rena. Who are you? Sorry about crashing your little party here, but I'm here to take my sword back. Well, what are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no sword. You'll have to do better than that, punk. What about that one hanging off your waist? Ah, guess there's no point hiding it anymore. How about we find out how sharp this sword really is, huh? Don't you remember? These are the guys who were picking on Sufia the night I ran into you. Oh! But they said they were gonna settle things with you during the tournament. They realized they didn't have a chance. Either they found out who I was, or they heard about the reputation that Gamji had. That... that's just not how you do things. Well, you got people like these, and then you get idiots who plow head on into every battle in front of them. Who are you talking about? Don't look at me. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna be late. Where do you think Gamji is, though? I doubt they did anything that rough to him, but I have to admit that I'm a little worried. Sorry I'm late. You still taking registrations? I'm D.S. Flack. Ah, Mr. Flack. Did you find your weapon? Like this one here? You see Gamji's inscription on the blade? Yes, that matches what we have in the books. Very good. Get on over to the arena. Your first match will be starting in a few minutes. Right. Thanks for helping me look for this, Reyna. Sorry I forgot to thank you till now. Dias.
everyone. Sorry I'm late. You missed it! Claude won his first battle! Really? I got called into battle pretty much right after you left. There wasn't much I could have done about it. Oh. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have left right before your fight if I had known you were the very first match. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Oh! Diaz is up next! Match of round one pits Thomas Nelson against Diaz Flack. Diaz was almost disqualified from the tournament, but he's got his weapon and he's ready for action. Let's see what they've got in store for us. How annoying. Two crescent cross. Chaos sword. Chaos sword. Crescent cross. Crescent cross. That was a waste of time. And there he goes! DS Black has won the eighth match of round one! Let's give him a round of applause! He made it just in time! What happened between you two anyway? Would you mind sharing it with us? It was nothing serious. Some guy stole Diaz's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament, that's all. Yeah, I still got a few questions left though. So maybe we can all talk it out later. That works for you, right Claude? What's this about? Pardon me, Mr. Kinney. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Oh, sure. Good luck. Try not to lose. Claude, do your best, okay? I'll be watching. Got it. I hope Gamji was able to see Diaz's match. Hey, isn't that Gamji over on the other side of the arena? Reyna, it's you! Gamji, are you alright? Of course I am! My sword's fighting out there! You think I wouldn't come to see that? Would you mind cheering on Diaz for me? There's someone else in the contest I need to look after. Oh, then I'll do my best to yell my lungs out for you, okay? Thanks, Gamji. Starting to heat up, folks. We've got the first match of the second round for you, starting right now. Doran Dan 
is taking on Claude C. Kenny in this match, and it's shaping up to be a monumental battle. Claude's one of our younger competitors. How long can he hold out? Does he have what it takes to win it all? Let's find out! Be careful. That was easier than I thought. And there you have it! Claude C. Kenny has won the first match of round two! The semifinals are coming up next! Come on! I want to hear some noise from you guys! Oh my goodness, this is incredible! He's made it to the semifinals! Man, Claude's really got it, doesn't he? I mean, the semifinals! Claude's absolutely the dreamiest! I can't believe what's happening! Wow, my heartbeat's going crazy here. Diaz's match in the second round is up soon, isn't it? Looks that way. Well, you saw how he performed in the first round. I doubt the second round will cause him much trouble. Well, maybe. And here comes Diaz now. The final match of the second round pits Edwin Millward against Diaz Flack. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Edwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's gonna run away with it? Diaz Flack stormed through his first round matchup. His opponent in the second round is Edwin Millward. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Edwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's gonna run away with it? How annoying. Two Chaos Sword! Press it up! Chaos Sword! Two Chaos Sword! Chaos Sword! Two Press and Cross! That was a waste of time. Diaz has done it again! The hero of the hour, Diaz Black, has won the final match of round two! What do the semifinals have in store for us? You'll just have to sit and watch! Man, I don't think I've ever seen a fighter with so much raw talent before. If Claude can keep his streak going, he'll get his final round face off with Diaz after all. You think Claude has what it takes to beat Diaz though? I don't know, but I told Claude that I'll be watching him and that's what I'm gonna do right until the very end. Wow, Reyna, that's pretty nice of you. You're really a determined girl. We have our first finalist. Claude C. Kenny has won the first semifinal match. Only two battles left, folks. 
It's only going to get hotter and hotter from here. I can't believe this is happening! You've made it to the finals, Claude! That's amazing! I can barely believe it myself! You've been impressive throughout the entire tournament, Claude. You've gotten so much stronger. There's something I need to ask, though. Oh? Is Diaz still in it? The smoke has cleared! It's time for the second semi-final match! And what a match it is! Has brought these, these two, two fighters, fighters against, against each other, other and, and fate, fate will allow only, only one, one of them, them to survive. Dia Black has, has dominated every match so far. So Can Grand LaRosse put a stop to his mad rush? rush? Here they come! I just chaos sword. Ha! Press and cross. Ha! Press and cross. Press and cross! Not too bad. It's all over! We have our second finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second match, DS Black! He's still in it. He's been in control the entire tournament. You don't have to tell me, that's for sure. Even I can see how strong he is. Claude, are you starting to think that you don't have a chance? It's not that. Seeing how strong he is just makes me want to put everything I've got into this battle. Well said. Sorry to bother you. Since the final match is about to begin, I'll need you to be over in the waiting room. Sure. Claude! Claude! You, you can, can do, do it. it! You can do it! The moment you've all been waiting for! The explosive conclusion to the Liqueur Armory Contest! Claude C. Kenny, DS Black! One battle to decide it all! Who will be the crown champion? Who is going to reign as the best swordsman in the land? It's over! It's all over! We have a new champion! The winner and new champion!
champion of the LaCour Armory Contest, D.S. Black. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the king of the tournament. Oh, he was almost there. Claude. to the finals. It's already over, Claude. It's over? So I... I... I'm sorry. You almost won, but he beat you at the very end. Oh, funny. I don't remember any of that. I don't think you're in any shape to talk like that to me, but I'll just ignore it for now. What do you want? I thought I'd come over to thank you. Thank me? You were better than I ever expected. I haven't had to put 100% into a fight in ages. Me? Don't get the wrong idea. It wasn't a compliment. What? what You try not to spoil him either, Reyna. It'll be better for him if you keep him on a long leash. What are you talking about, Diaz? That's all I wanted to say. I need to get going. Diaz! What? Will I see you again? Certainly, if the time comes. We should leave too. Are you sure? I'm still feeling a little lightheaded, but that's all. Must have been out for a while. Well, Reyna was casting spells on you the whole time, so... Really? Yeah. Thank you. Now then, why don't we take some of that energy and focus it on the Sorcery Globe investigation? The first thing to do is to go to Linga and get that book of ours deciphered. All right, Linga's our next stop then. But before we leave, we need to go claim your second place prize. Oh, there was a second place prize? I didn't know that. Claude! Claude. <laughs> Sorry.
Hey, it's you, Reyna! Who are these people, Reyna? This man forged the sword Dias used in the tournament. Dias's sword? You there! You fought in the tournament, didn't you? Yes, sir. Actually, Claude was the one with Dias in the final match. Of course, of course! I watched the whole thing. That was a very close fight. It could have gone either way in the end. Oh, I wasn't anywhere near that. Dias had nothing but good things to say about your sword fighting, you know. Said he's looking forward to seeing you mature. He said that? In fact, uh, he told me to give you something if I happened to run into you afterwards. giving this to me? That's another one of the swords I've made. He said it'd be a good fit for your size. Diaz said that? That guy's pretty shy, isn't he? It'd be a lot easier if he just told you all of this himself. So, does this mean he sees me as some kind of rival then? everything squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck, it should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lakur, if I recall correctly. Sounds good. Let's go.